everybody, this is going to be a pretty cool video. Um, so, I, first off, I want to talk about this book. Um, this is called The Last Boy. I read it a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm going to read it again. Um, it just talks about uh, Mano's career and life after baseball and such, and his problems with drinking and women and stuff. And the most important thing was his play on the field, which was, you know, everybody knows the legend behind Mano, the 550-foot home runs and stuff like that, going out and partying the night before and then playing, you know, solid games the next day, which is just pretty cool because I don't think they do that nowadays. So um, this this might be what spawned my vintage, albeit two or three years later. But um, this is a pretty good book. It's written by a lady that... Um, I uh, went to like a country club event or something and interviewed Mano for like a week or something like that. But um, that's just a uh, segue into today's mail day. So I saw the name on the package and that's his eBay name as well. And I know I bought a couple of um, vintage Manos from him. Um, so let's uh, cut into it. Now these are, you know. PSA 9s or anything crazy like that. I mean, those fetch thousands. I don't, I can't afford that, but we can get some decent mantles here. I think I'm going to be uh, uh, liquidating a lot of my modern stuff in my store. Not all of it, just just some of it to pay for some of these cards. These are really cool. And there's just, modern cards are neat, but there's just so many out there, you know, sticker autos and event jerseys from Target or Walmart or whatever and this stuff's just classic so let's start with this one that's so cool um, okay I'm gonna take it out of this little sleeve I, I, I have my own I can put on it so this one I can't remember the exact prices on these um, this is a 1960 it looks pretty good to me tops mantle number 350 it is a PSA 5 um, you know what, I think these were anywhere, I think, I think this was like 225 so I mean, definitely not cheap, but I, I didn't want like a PSA 1 or 2 where it's bent down the middle, I, I mean, I just think that takes away too much from the card, this one looks fantastic, it's got a crease on this side, little problem there, it probably has a little bit of faded color and surface spots, little yellow spots, but overall not bad. It's cool when they used to do that with these little guys, little character drawings. So, October 20th, 1931. He was only 5'11". I was thinking he was 6'1", or so, but hits 450-foot home run versus Chicago. So that's a PSA 5 Mantle. That's the first one I'll be adding to my Mantle PC. And I think what I'm kind of through my PC a little. I have some pieces together. I'll do like a mantle showcase. I don't know. If this might turn off some of my viewers. It might some viewers might like it. But uh it's just kinda the direction my collecting's going and I can't really go against it, you know. So badass car right there. And then we got another mantle. This one is even older. Fifty seven tops mantle. This card's awesome. So, uh, right from the get-go, this is another PSA 5. You, you know, you can see it, it's off-center, yada, yada, yada. Um, it really doesn't look that bad. I can't tell if that's part of the card or if those little specks are, um, like, surface problems. But, overall, it really doesn't look bad at all. Back looks fantastic. He picked up all the AL batting titles last year. 52 home runs, 130 RBIs, and 353. That's nuts. It didn't show on base. I don't think they focused on that back then. But um, there's a little crease right there, but nothing significant. Um, I'll have to look at some other copies of this to see if all the copies have that, because that just might be like the background of the photo or something. But um, centering on this is probably 70-30. 70-30. Um, but overall, fantastic mantles to uh, start off the collection. And I had the George Brett card in the last mail day. Yeah. This is the other guy in PCM. Brett. So, 
Um, that's kind of where I'm at with my collecting. I hope, hope you guys like, like the vintage. I, I think it's really, really cool. So thanks.